Good morning, grade ones and twos. Welcome back to term four. I hope you had a great holiday and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week back at school. How exciting. Mr. Lewis is very excited too. This week we're going to be doing some revision. We're going to do some revision of things that we've done earlier this year. We're going to do place value today, then tomorrow we'll do addition, then the next day we'll do subtraction, then multiplication. So we're going to be doing a lot of practice this week before we start something new next week back in the classroom. Our learning intention today, we are using our place value knowledge to answer riddles. To be successful, I can read the riddles carefully. It's very important to read all the questions carefully. And I know my place value columns. So let's remember what our place value columns are. Do you remember the ones and the tens and the hundreds column? Okay, there are our columns. You might even know more columns, like thousands maybe. But we were just focusing on these ones. Okay, let's see if I can get into a better, better spot so you can see the board. All right, what you need to do, you need to choose four or more task cards to work through. Your task cards are on the next slides. Okay, let's look at the first one. I'm going to go through a couple together. Just so We'll go through number one. The first one here says, this number has two digits. So if it's got two digits, we only need the ones column and the tens column. So there's only two digits in this number. But the next line says the tens digit is a three. So in the tens column, we're gonna put the digit three. Tens digit is three. The ones digit is smaller than seven, but bigger than five. What number is smaller than seven and bigger than five? The number Six is smaller than seven and bigger than five. So the answer to this one is 36. If you double click on that circle, it will come up with a, with a little line there where you can type in the answer, 36. It might be a little bit off center, but that doesn't matter. We can space it. Okay, let's go through another one. I'll leave two and three. Let's go through number four. This number has two digits. So again, I'm gonna wipe my board clean. You can do your work in out in your maths books. Um, okay, it's got two digits. So it's going to have the ones and the tens column again. The ones digit is smaller than four, but bigger than two. Hmm. Smaller than four, but bigger than two. What number's in between? The number three. And it says the ones digit. So the number three is going to go in the ones column. The tens digit does not have the numbers one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. It nearly mentioned all of the digits. There's only one number that it didn't mention there. Tens digits not have those numbers. It didn't say that it doesn't have a two, so it has to be the number two. 23 is my answer. So I'm gonna double click on the circle and click 23 and write 23. Okay, I want you to have a go at at least four of those. Now you'll see stars in the top right corner. If it's one star, they're a little bit easier. If they're two stars, it gets a little bit harder. And if there's three stars, so down the bottom, there are, one, there are some that have three stars on them. See here, you've got three stars. That means they're, they're, they're pretty tricky, okay? So you might decide you wanna have a go at one, one with one star, and then maybe you wanna try a two star one, and maybe a three star one if you really want to. Okay, you don't have to do them all, okay, but you get to choose. So you can have a little look through, a little read through some of them. You can say, you might say, I think I can do this one. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this one. And you can use your maths books to help you. If you happen to have a whiteboard, that's even it's it's very helpful, like what I've got. Okay. Um, otherwise you can do you might be able to think of the answers and you can just type them in. Okay, have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.